In this video, I want to give you some tips for making your Facebook ads stand out. Now, when you're advertising on Facebook, you're going to be allowed to have an image on your advertisement. And this is very powerful because it's the thing that people will see before they actually read the text. They'll see the image and the text comes later. That's just the way your brain works. So when you're using images, you should use quality images. Preferably, you should use ones taken specifically for the ad. Or failing that, you want to get some professional images from a photo library, and there are lots of them online. But you want to make sure, first of all, that they look good. Secondly, that they adequately relate to what you're advertising. I know some people say, oh, do something completely different uh, because then it'll stand out. Well, maybe. But as a general rule, you want to make sure that if, like uh, in the last slide, we were showing an image of a dessert, you would want to make sure that that image fitted something to do with desserts. You wouldn't want to uh, have something like that for selling, you know, jeans or something like that. You want to make sure that it does actually relate to what you're advertising. Very importantly, you must make sure that you own the copyright or have the rights to use this particular photograph. You can't just simply go to Google Images, grab something offline from somebody else's site, and then use that in your Facebook ad. That's going to land you in a whole heap of trouble. So basically, make sure that you own the copyright or that you have the adequate rights to be able to use these images. And also, you want to make sure that they're not likely to be seen on another ad because that is going to destroy your credibility. So you want to make sure that it is a unique ad. And as I was saying earlier, that's really why you want to make sure that you have a picture that has been taken specifically for this ad for you or by you and for no other purpose. Something else that you want to do in your ad is to use compelling copy. You want to draw people in by appealing to both their emotional and to their logical side. So you want to appeal to head and heart in equal proportion. You also want to have a strong call to action. You want to make sure that when people see your ad, they feel it's compelling to go ahead and click through and either make the purchase or go to your website or go to your Facebook page or whatever it is that you want them to do. But you must have a strong call to action. You should also use social proof to back up any claims that you have in your ad. And a good way to do that is to use testimonials. And if you're running a video ad, for example, getting video testimonials from previous customers can be very, very powerful indeed. But whatever you do, the testimonials should be genuine. You mustn't make them up. They must be real customers giving their real opinion. Now, some people say that you should put a question in the headline because this draws people in and gets them reading the rest of the ad. And especially if it's a question your audience can answer yes. Above all else, you should be credible. If your ad makes outrageous claims, then no one is going to take it seriously. So, for example, if you're advertising a make money online product and you're saying, you can make a million dollars by this time next week. No one's going to take it seriously. But if the claim is you can make a thousand dollars by this time next month, well, maybe that has a bit more credibility. You know, most people are not stupid. They can tell when uh, you're making some outrageous claim that simply doesn't make any sense. You can also use the psychology of color to your advantage. And this is something that works on a sort of a subtle, subconscious sort of level. Um, 
studies have proven that older people tend to like blue, purple, and green, whereas younger people prefer yellow, red, and orange. So you can build this sort of thing into uh, your advertisement. In fact, you can actually take it a step further because different colors tend to relate to different things. For example, yellow tends to convey optimism, clarity, and warmth. Orange is considered friendly, cheerful, and confident. Red is exciting, youthful, and bold. People associate purple with things that are imaginative and creative. With blue, people tend to associate it with things being dependable, trusting, and wise. Green tends to be associated with things that are peaceful, healthy, and associated with growth. And grey is a balanced, neutral, and calming. And if you think about it, if you think of big corporations, if you think of products that you go out and buy off your supermarket shelves, for example, look at the colouring of the packages, look at the colouring of the advertising, look at the colouring of company logos, and you can see the sort of message that they're trying to get across through the colours. And you can do that too in your Facebook ad. And finally, when it comes to your ad, don't sell. Now, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but people don't like to be sold to. And the best ads never feel like ads. So if you want people to care about your product or service, you need to make them feel like you're delivering a solution to a problem or a need that they're facing. And one good way to come up with ideas is to look at other successful ads in other niches and apply those strategies and tactics to your own advertisement.